So you guys voted for it, and today I'm playing on a giant Earth map as a true start location, Japan. And I'm unbelievably excited for this LP because we have so many different opportunities to expand and to, to, to make war upon other AIs. And you know what? I've actually kind of manipulated this game a little bit to let the AIs grow incredibly expansive. Uh, and I'm going to get into that a little bit later, but we're going to see some really, really massive countries. And I'm a little bit worried because I don't know how I'm going to combat against uh, these massive AIs. Uh, we're going to try it. And I'm actually also going to be doing something a little bit different in this Let's Play. Instead of giving you guys intros like this, telling you guys what is going to happen and what, I, uh, what I'm trying to do in my strategies, I'm actually going to give you guys a brief summary um, to tell you which what happens in each episode and, and what it, without giving away too much spoilers and stuff like that uh, kind of give you a brief summary of, of what you can expect uh, with each following episode so anyways guys let's jump into this so I think everyone has played as Japan just because it's one of those vanilla sieves um, but they did get a, a kind of an upgrade um, after Brave New World came out and uh, you know obviously they still have Bushido which means that their units fight as if they were always at full strength which is awesome for our military if we decide to kind of take over um, possibly Korea, possibly China, possibly Siam. Those are all nations that are going to be right next to us. And uh, we also get extra culture from each fishing boat as well as uh, two plus culture from each atoll. So we might want to kind of expand over towards the Indonesia era, uh, um, Indonesian um, area. And uh, I, I'm, I'm really excited because I do kind of want to play as kind of that imperial style Japan and kind of expand down south, maybe even get in towards um, Australia a little bit. I mean, definitely left, would love to take over Korea at some point. Um, you know, and obviously Japan has the samurai. They're super badass units and they can also build uh, fishing boats without being consumed, which is really, really cool. So we're going to want to make sure we get iron for that. And then the zero, which is their their fighter uh, they're they're okay but I'm not sure how much we're gonna use these since we don't if, since it doesn't require oil not too bad but anyways let's go ahead and jump right into this so uh, right away Mount Fuji perfect so this is actually what I think I'm gonna do I think I mean I know it's kind of a true start location but I think I'm actually gonna move uh, my settler one tile this way I, I, I would like to be a little bit closer to this mountain and I believe uh, if I'm if I'm closer to this mountain I'll be able to build an observatory at some point uh, because I believe this is considered a, a mountain so an observatory would be really really crucial especially if we we might go for a science victory I, I really think that that is almost our only opportunity here as Japan um, because this map is massive and I'm gonna get into a couple of the other details for now uh, but right now let's just let's just explore our island I mean we know how it's gonna be we know what it's gonna look like um, and I'm sure we're probably gonna meet Korea at any point again this is a giant earth map mod from the uh, from the yet not another uh, earth map mods I think that's how you call it that's what you call it and it's, it's the biggest one that you got so this is going to be uh, a pretty a pretty massive game and I, I am really really excited so uh, you know what I, I'm actually going to I guess I'll go monument first because we don't really need anything else and in terms of research we kind of have to rush sailing no doubt um, Let's make sure that we're working the right tile. And yes, so we are working the spice in very good, the new luxury. I mean, it's kind of been out for a while, but uh, it is uh, a luxury. Okay, good. So we'll be able to get a pasture there at some point and get an extra. Oh, I'm sorry. No, that's it requires trapping. I'm not sure what we get there, but I know I think it's going to provide us an extra uh, hammer, which is great. We have two bison here as well. So let's, let's meet Korea. I know that they're, I know they got to be around here somewhere. All right, so a couple of details about this game. I'm, if, if you didn't, if you got to kind of looked at, you kind of got to look at the settings that I kind of built around um, in the very beginning. Uh, I, first of all, I, there's no city states in this game. I, the city states really kind of, I, I've I've done plenty of, of practice kind of run-throughs with this campaign, and the city states really kind of mess a lot of things up. Good, good, good. Wow, that's awesome. We got a free technology from that ruin. Um, also, uh, Coco's here. Yeah, the city-states really kind of mess a lot of things up, especially in Europe, and, and depending on where they're, I mean, they're all random city-states as well, so I, I, I really didn't like the way city-states made the game. So this is how the AI is going to be extremely expansive. I actually turned off for the first time in any LP Barbarians. Now this is huge, but it's very, very crucial. This is going to be, this is why the AI has such an issue with expanding in the very beginning. Even on Deity, the AI is just not good at defending itself against Barbarians. And this is one of those games where 
this there's so much land and 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 we are playing on emperor difficulty by the way emperor difficulty uh yes 22 civs and all that standard speed this is going to be one of those games where I think we're going to see AIs get huge because there's so much land inland Asia that, I mean, it, I think that we could see a massive China, depending on how fast we take on Korea. If we don't take out Korea very, very early on, they could even get expansive because they have some room to work with um, on the Korean Peninsula and kind of moving up north towards like Siberia and stuff like that. Um, this it could be massive. Uh, by the way, there are no American civs. Uh, there are no Native Americans or, or or Brazil. Anybody from from North or South America. I could only put in 22 civs. I didn't want to go more than that because I didn't want my computer to blow up in my face during one of this uh, one of these video recordings. And uh, I, I think that that's really the best way to go. And then you know you'll you'll see Europe at some point. But um, hold on, let's let's check really quick. What what am I? At? I'm 15 turns away from sailing, so I could go ahead. And build, well, let's see, I kind of want a shrine because we do have Mount, Mount Fuji here, which is providing us two gold, three culture, and three faith. But I don't think we're even close to working it yet, are we? No, yeah, I didn't think we we're going to work it just yet. But I really wanted to take the risk there because I'm not 100% if the Mount Fuji is going to offer us the uh, observatory at some point when that technology comes around. But I, I would like to, I'd, I might as well take the take the chance and, and, and try it out here. Um, but yeah, we kind of have to have our citizens working on food for now so that we grow. Um, I think a science victory is ultimately what I'd like to choose for. I kind of don't want to mess with the AIs. I want the AIs to get huge. The AIs are going to be crazy here. And also, I'm playing... I, I can't believe that I haven't used this mod before. Info Attic, this is my shit. Like, I don't understand what the hell is wrong with me. Like, I love showing you guys the info, showing you guys stuff, stuff like the demographics and, and showing you guys stuff like, um, you know, the gold ec economic screen, the, the religion screen. This info, the Info Addicts mod is fantastic, and I, I think I'm going to have so much fun when we meet every single nation in the world. Going through these graphs with you guys is going to be really, really exciting to me. Um, but anyways, let's, 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 let's quickly move on. Um, a, co a couple other things. Yeah, so there's no barbarians, which means, yeah, pretty crazy things are, are going to go down inside of Asia. Um, Europe, I had to, I had to leave a couple of the civs out, uh, and you, I guess I'll, I, you know, I'll let you guys just kind of see for yourself which civs, because like I said, I mean, there's, right now there's 43 civs, I've got every single civ uh, that has ever been released for Civilization 5, so I had to really leave out uh, almost, almost half, uh, which a lot of those were from the Americans, but I had to leave out some people like the Huns, uh, I left out the Babylonians, um, and I, I can't remember, but we'll see, I think Assyria, but it really doesn't matter. I mean, I've had I've, I've played a, a quick practice run through of this, and it is unbelievably fun. I could not wait to start this. I was actually gonna wait uh, a few days before I released this, uh, but I couldn't wait any longer. I was just way too pumped. So I think I will go for Liberty only because um, I don't think I want to just stay on this island all game. Like I said, I kind of want to expand southward, ultimately getting to uh, Australia. Um, Indonesia is in this game, which means that we're going to have to compete for those islands uh, in kind of uh, Southeast Asia. We're going to have to kind of compete for, for all that area as well, as well as Siam is in this game as well. Oh, by the way, Polynesia is not. Screw Polynesia. I, I kind of hate Polynesia. Their, their unique ability can really screw you, especially in maps like this where there's an entire unsettled land um, off, t off to the, well, it's to the east since I'm Japan, but uh, to the west if you're European. Anyways, uh, wow, whoa, 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 whoa. I must have been getting that ruin, gave us extra culture. Very cool. And I guess we're going to rush an extra settler for now. Collective rule so sounds like the, the right thing to do. So we'll go Republic and then Collective rule right after this. All right, so now we wait until we get boats. We have eight turns, and then we're going to have to build the boat. Um, I don't think I'm going to have enough money, unfortunately, to buy it. That was kind of my first idea. My first goal was kind of just to have enough money to buy the boat, but, boat, but I, I won't be able to. I'll just have to build it inside of my capital, Kyoto. And, uh, I mean, that's just what we're going to have to do. And I'm going to immediately just try to discover everyone. I, I want to really play a very... Um, Oh, oh, now nice. I wasn't even paying attention, but I guess we were working this uh, this mountain for the first time. Very good. And that's that's why our our economy is doing so well. Faith and culture as well. Yeah, dang, seven culture per turn. That's pretty amazing, actually. Okay, so I found Pathion. What are we gonna do here? Um, because we are Japan, and because we're gonna have automatically kind of a lot of fishing boats, I think the best thing would probably be God of Sea. 
Um, that sounds like the right idea. I, I can't remember how many um, fish resources are really out in this map. I'm sure there's got to be quite a few, but I really think that that would be the best option for us. Um, sea resources are going to be amazing for us as Japan, and, and that will be amazing. So, uh, yes, let's let's go ahead and go God of the Sea, uh, plus production for from fishing boats. So yeah, again, a little bit into my strategy. Um, we're going to try to get off this island as fast as we can. I think I might leave Korea and China there for a while. I guess it kind of depends on, on what you guys think. Um, depending on the comments in the below, uh, in below, uh, kind of thinking, you know, whatever you guys are thinking, whatever you guys want to see, I think I might leave Korea and China alone for a little bit. I, I don't think I want to keep them around for the entire game. I, I don't know if that's the smartest idea I would like to eventually invade Asia I mean we are Japan and I like to do kind of historical things um, again I'm kind of going for that kind of imperial style Japan and I would love to expand just you know quite a lot down in the south here towards these islands and, and eventually in the Pacific ultimately maybe even colonizing um, places like California Mexico uh, Western Canada that would be really fun and okay this uh, this warrior is just gonna chill in Kyoto for now um, and we are two, turn, two turns away before we get our boats, and I'm really excited because that's when we get to expand, and we actually have not met Korea just yet. Korea is going to be one of the biggest um, factors against my possible science victory. We really can't go for a diplomatic victory because I'm pretty sure that's going to be impossible. Yeah, you need 46 votes to win in a diplomatic victory, and since there are no city-states, uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to happen. So really, there are three choices. Domination, I don't know if an AI can do that, but uh, time victory is on, so if, if something just goes terribly wrong with my strategy, uh, I guess we could win out hopefully in 500, maybe by turn 500. The problem is that I think we're going to see some really, really um, high-scoring AIs. Okay, and it's boat time. And now we have to really kind of look around here. I think I'd like trapping so that we can begin to work our, our bison because we're going to get that extra settler really fast. And we only have, well, we have six happiness, which isn't bad. Um, that's not bad at all. And, and you, you, these bison are really helping out with our early growth. Uh, having three, having like tiles with three food really, really helps out in the beginning of the game. And we have two, not to mention. So that's that's great to see. And we, you know, this is gonna be nice because my game was actually think of uh, it was kind of strange to, to see this, but when experimenting with the first couple playthroughs, um, having barbarians on was actually taking the turns to process the longest. Because this map is so huge, there were so many barbarians to, par to process for. It, it was it was unbelievable. Um, the world's busiest people, uh, five. Also, um, this is not like any other kind of map mod. A lot of the other map mods uh, don't give the AIs the bonuses depending on the difficulty. So let's let's say that we were playing on on Deity, and, and our previous um, LP was on the European map mod. It wasn't on this sort of scenario map mod. Um, that meant that the AIs weren't getting getting their normal difficulties or their normal advantages um, depending on the diff difficulty. Uh, so that's why we kind of didn't see them get super good until kind of the end. There, um, this is not how this game is played. They they do get the difficulties. We will be low in the demographics. We already are. 22 in soldiers approval, very low literacy, very low manufactured goods. This is going to be a tough game. This is going to be a really, really tough game to play. And I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to put this settler at. I know it's suggesting that I put him on the hill. I would like to put him, of course, next to this mountain because of uh, the possible observatory again. But... I also would like to kind of reach out and extend my reach up up north here. Who knows what kind of luxuries are up north in this island? I'm not even 100%, and we have to wait four more turns for a boat. I don't think right... Well, I would be able to get the cattle. I would like this cattle. Unfortunately, there are a lot of hills here, which means that we're going to have kind of a tough time growing. I definitely would like to kind of expand out towards the cattle, and here we would definitely be able to do so. Oh, this is kind of an interesting choice. I would love to have the river right here. I guess I guess I should settle here. I get the mountain, I get the cattle, and the deer. Uh, if we might be missing a possibly a few re resources, and then we get yeah we get the river, the mountain, the cattle, and the deer. I guess that's probably the best spot I think um, because we can't 
We can't really tell what's over here. I'd much rather just get this settler settled rather than wait three turns, then send my boat up north, try to figure out the best spot. It, since we have so much culture generating so fast right now, we might as well use the advantage of having a, a second city very early on before turn 30. A lot of the other AIs I don't think are going to have that, or if they do have that already, then we're right on par, which, you know... Human players are always going to be smarter than the AI, so that mean, that would be pretty much a win for us. So I think this is probably the best spot to settle in. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Fortunately, it's kind of weird because there's not too many fish resources. I figured there'd be a little bit more playing as Japan, but there's one here and there's one here. I, I would like to settle a third city down south, maybe expanding a little bit towards Korea. And I might... I, uh, it might have been a better idea to settle my second city down uh, towards the east here so that I, I'm taking away a little bit of land from Korea, but that's okay. We will figure it out, and, and we'll build a monument in Osaka first. All right, three more turns, and then we get to discover the world. And I'm just going to go ahead and actually skip really fast uh, because I would like to kind of show you guys a little bit of what's to come in this awesome map because we haven't been able to kind of experiment too much yet. All right, very good. Uh, we're creating three faith a turn. We actually might get a very good religion very early on. Okay, so here we go. Let's go meet Korea, guys. Let's go get meet Korea. Uh, go meet Korea. And as for my production, I think a shrine would be good. Um, obviously, a worker would be good. But we're about to get a another policy in six turns, which then we'll be able to kind of create a worker from there. So I'd rather not wait for uh, waste fourteen turns building. A, a second worker. Let's go ahead and build a shrine. I think that'll really help with uh, kind of getting my religion out there very quickly. I don't think we need anything else. Um, a cargo ship could be good. And again, because of no barbarians, we really have so many new opportunities for us. There are massive opportunities. So I'm really excited and I really hope that we are able to get a, a little bit more gold very soon. Huh? Oh, well, a boat is going to cost 220 gold. Um, Mining would be good because there are so many hills in Osaka, so I, I think I might want to do that. Actually, writing is even better. Uh, writing would be good. Getting out a library very early, early on. Also, uh, that technology writing allows us to accept embassies, so we'll be able to kind of spy on some AIs very early on. Next turn. Next turn, Mr. Korea will be ours. Lots of bison over here. Again, I would love to settle in, in modern-day China just east or just west over here i would love to settle um in this sort of area and very nice to meet you buddy i hope that well we're gonna have some pretty big conflicts do you already have no no, no. I, I was thinking you already had your second city settled but no that's that's definitely not the case they're doing pretty good for themselves though all right here's china nice to be meet you baby looking sexy as always looking real sexy as always so we have two happiness, not bad. Uh, we, that's probably why we should get out a a worker pretty soon here. Oh yeah, oh, we're gonna be we're gonna be creating so much culture now because Osaka now has even a a, a a monument up. Oh, very nice. Okay, so there is Beijing. So I, I like the oh whoa 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 China just cut off Korea. No no no, I'm not gonna give you my embassy without getting your embassy first. So I don't think so, buddy. Okay, now let's travel down south. Let's go meet Indonesia. Let's go meet uh, Siam. Eventually, let's go meet India. I don't know if we're going to meet Mongolia for a while uh, because they're just kind of too far inland in Asia. I might want to send a scout over as soon as I get um, the, the the technology to embark through seas and stuff like that. Okay, here we go. Let's get up our first worker. And, of course, right there on the bison. Perfect. So we'll create a little camp there, and wow, you actually want to go to Korea, go to war with Korea very fast. I'm not really ready for that, but you can go ahead and do so. Um, yeah, no, I, I don't think I'm going to take that risk. I would like to get up a cargo ship pretty soon and start to trade. Um, getting my gold up very early on would be a pretty good idea. And then there's the other Pathion. The, the second Pathion in the world has just been founded. Um... Oh, actually, no. I'm 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 actually pretty far behind the pack. Well, I don't know if we're far, but there's been four Pathions founded so far. We actually might not be the first to to get a religion, but uh, getting a religion with extra happiness would really be useful right now. Uh, and we're gonna really need another boat. They're suggesting another settler, settler, but we don't have the happiness for that. Uh, the cocoa will help with some extra luxuries. Osaka will definitely not have any extra luxuries. Another worker would be good, but we're going to hold off on that. I think getting out a boat is really, really crucial right now. Um, and I don't think that we're going to be getting optics anytime soon, so I won't build a scout just yet, but I kind of do. 
You could build a cargo ship in 25 turns. Here, why, you can. it only takes you six turns for a scout, so why don't you build it for now? Um, also, you're about to grow. Eventually, we're going to want a, another worker eventually to kind of help out Osaka and, and improve some of those tiles. But for now, I'm going to keep my worker in Kyoto and, and kind of make sure that this city's got everything that it can ask for. You know, make sure it's getting everything that... There's a nice little ruin for us. Everything I want to be a pretty big city. I'm worried about ha happiness once again because, you know, we will be going down uh, the Liberty policy and uh, we'll be very, very expansive. Um, I think that's a really exciting way of playing. Okay, here's a good good little island. I'm kind of like looking out for different possibilities of settling at some point. I would love to settle down here. Um, there is marble. There's also wine. We're really looking for luxury resources uh, that would be useful for our empire. The marble and the wine would be good, especially because we don't have it on our own island here. Uh, there's plenty of cattle. Here's, here's whales. Um, that's something that we need to think about. We should stay along the coast just because we are Japan, and that's where most of our bonuses will come from. Um, I guess mining in four turns. I can't really pass that up. We're creating, well, we're actually losing gold, but we have 10 beakers per turn. That's pretty nice. This is this is not a bad place to settle either with the whales as well as uh, the fish, the fish resource. All right. Let's go. I guess let's go there. All right. And I guess maybe should I? Nah, we'll wait for the other boat to kind of experiment. I, I'm not going to worry too much. I just want to find the other AIs. Um, we'll be having plenty of boats. Now, there is one thing that I like to mention um, in this mod. I did figure out there are two ways to get into Europe, because ultimately I would love to get to Europe and show you guys Europe, uh, because that's going to be really exciting. I mean, that, I know most of you guys that are watching this, maybe not most, but a pretty majority, pretty big uh, percent of you guys are from Europe, and I'd love to see what happens in Europe. So I would love to kind of get over to Europe at some point as fast as I can to kind of watch what happens over there. Um, because I, I put a lot of the big nations in Europe, and I, I believe that um, this mod might be a little bit um, enlarged in Europe, so that way Europe still kind of, it's not like just one city in Europe. I, I believe they do have a little bit of extra land over there to kind of uh, experiment with. Okay, I'm going to move this scout down south here, uh, because when we get embarking, I want him to make sure that he gets, he has got to be within our, our cultural boundaries in order to, to get that, that promotion. Okay, and we're gonna continue. Here's a nice atoll. Here's some fishing resources. Very nice. I'm sure we're about to meet Indonesia very soon. So there's the scout worker in 18 turns. I don't think so. Cargo ship in 25. I don't like that. Let's maybe a shrine. But we should probably work on your food because Osaka doesn't have much food down here. Besides the cattle, the cattle is a great resource uh, for food, but that's about it. There's a lot of hills. Um, the river will provide extra food at some point, but not too much. And since you have, you're have you lacking sea resources, that kind of isn't good either. Um, okay, I think a library. Oh, I kind of want another boat, though. But no, let's 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 build the library. I can't pass that up. It's, it's important that we keep ahead in science because we will be kind of definitely struggling behind here um which we got to take note of that that that's got that has to be on our priority list that we don't fall too behind in science all right all right so there's some ruins i know indonesia is around here somewhere but i yeah, it'll, it'll take us a little bit to find them let's see i would ah uh, we ah uh, yeah we should probably go for bronze working because iron is such an, an important resource when playing as japan so that we can ultimately build our samurai at some point um optics is going to take us 12 turns it's a little bit too far away from me and uh i don't think we're going to be building a road anytime soon yeah let's go bronze working eventually bronze working will ultimately lead us to oh actually it doesn't well we need to get a coliseum down at some point um, we can build a circus, but unfortunately, I guess uh, there are no horses in Japan. I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying the mod doesn't have any horse, uh, any horse resources um, in mainland Japan. Okay, I think I will go discover Siam first. We'll, we'll leave that other boat to go find Indonesia. I kind of want to go up and down the coast and, and find everybody um, before we do anything else. Okay, again, we still have to wait for that scout to be useful uh, before we get optics. I'm surprised we're losing so much money. We've got to keep an eye on that. We should probably get a cargo ship up soon, somewhat soon. Um, okay, let's let's go out this way, and um, this scout will just kind of stay alert there. And uh, there we go. Start making your way downtown, walking fast. Um, something, something romance, I think.
Yeah, something that's not in the romance. Oh, the first religion has been founded Eastern Orthodox. That must be, I think that might might be Russia. I, I really think that might have been Russia. Um, but we will see. Uh, we will see one day. Not today, but anyways, guys, I think I'm going to have to stop it right there. We will, we're going to have to definitely work. Oh, yeah, let's work a farm really quick um, here. And let's continue to expand southward in really quick. All right, so we won't meet Siam in this episode, but we will in part two, along with plenty of other sieves. We've met two. There are still 19 left in this game. This is going to be really exciting. I I'm so pumped for this LP. I hope you guys are too. Um, I, I, I couldn't wait any longer to, sh to, to play this. I couldn't wait. I, I really wanted to show you guys this. Uh, so anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed. Like, again, you know, I, I really wanted to just to mention that it really helps uh, you guys just leaving a like. Uh, just as simple as clicking one little button helps out tremendously uh, and to just to show your support and that you you, you like the, this video and you like the series and you want to keep seeing more of it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will see you guys in part two.